Okay, let's not do a video about uh, Kyle's uh, undecided about which uh, cell phone I should keep. I should keep my iPhone 5 or go to a Galaxy S3. Uh, a lot of people, a couple of people today have asked me, well, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Uh, so I thought, well, I thought I, since I asked you all's advice in deciding, I should tell you what I did. Now, I want to thank everybody that gave me advice on the uh, comment section of the last video. Everybody had a lot of good things to say. Uh, in the end, there wasn't really much of anything anybody said that I could disagree with. Everybody made valid points. There were good reasons to go with one, good reasons to go with the other, reason to hate one, reason to hate the other. Uh, it was kind of hard to find fault with pretty much anything anybody said. So it was, But the thing is, it was pretty much back and forth between a lot of people saying keep the iPhone, a lot of people keep saying going with the Samsung. So it really wasn't a, you know, clear-cut winner in the whole conversation but it did give me a lot of things to think about and I did make a decision uh, now I will say that today I did decide which phone I'm going to keep it wasn't a great day it was a, it actually there was a lot of difficulty involved in it uh, at one point I actually kind of felt like a uh, one-legged truck stop hooker because it felt like I was hopping from place to place all day and every time I turned around I got uh, so it wasn't the best day of getting the phone, but it worked out in the end. I'm sitting here at home finally, so I guess it all worked out. But uh, what I originally decided to do, and this, I'll, I'll give you a little quick here step by step. I decided I was going to keep the iPhone. I liked it. I have everything I have in the house Apple. We have three Apple computers. We have iPads, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, well, you know, might as well be Apple all the way. Uh, but then I noticed as I was looking at it that there were some spots on the metal, the blackened aluminum around the band that had some uh, the finish wearing off. And people who know me know I cannot tolerate imperfections. So I decided, well, I'll keep the apple, but I'll take it back today. So I took it back to the store that I bought it at. They didn't have any more. So I was like, they're like, well, do you want to go to another phone? I'm like, no, well, I'll, t I'll tell you what, I'm going to go look at another store. And if I can't find anything, we'll see what I'll do. But first, I'm going to try to find another iPhone. Because apparently they're hard to find. Uh, so did that, went to another store, got there, they had iPhones. Uh, I know one of the salesmen there and he had some and he went and got some out for me. And uh, brought me another black iPhone, opened it up fresh out of the package, scratch right on it. Uh, and this has been something that's been on the internet a lot about the phones. Apparently there's been a lot of damage to the black ones because the finish rubs off the aluminum really easy. Uh, so here's a little advice to you up front. If you're as anal as I am, don't get the black iPhone. Uh, that's just, I'll say that right off the top. But like I say, he brought me, he actually ended up bringing me two of them. Both of them had blemishes or flaws on them that I didn't find uh, that I would, made the phone acceptable to me. The phone wasn't acceptable to me because of these blemishes. So I decided, you know, while he was doing this, I was playing with the Samsung Galaxy S3. Big screen was nice. You know, it did feel kind of cheap and plasticky, but, you know, the big screen, the screen is nice. The screen is really good. Uh, <clears throat> and it's pretty fluid, pretty functional, pretty, you know, easy to use. So I thought, you know, I'm just not going to be able to get the black iPhone I like, so let's just go with the Samsung S3. Uh, and so he said, okay, let me go look, see if I got one. So he goes back and look one. I'm still playing with this one. While I'm playing with it, I notice that the back doesn't fit on it properly, that there's a gap. And I tried to put it, I thought, well, maybe the back's just not on it right. But the back was on it right, that the side of the phone was actually a little warped. So I was like, well, I'm going to make sure I don't get one of those when I get the phone. So he brings out the Samsung I said, well, let's check out the back of it, make sure it's not warped like the display model over here. He said, okay, no problem. He takes the, he takes the back off the phone. And in doing so, he breaks the back of the phone. I mean, he just breaks it in his hand. And I'm like, wow, that's not really well made. Now, I know you can get new covers for him, new backs for him, but I'm just like, that just to me is indicative of the quality of the phone. Uh, so I'm like, okay, maybe going with that is not for me. It just I just came out with this overall feeling that, you know, the iPhone 5, it just feels like a solid machine made for adults. Whereas the Samsung, it just feels like a child's cell phone. It feels like something made for kids. And Android itself, it feels like it's more made for younger people than it is uh, older people. And iPhone seems more like it's made for older people. So I thought, well, you know, I think I'll just stick with iPhone. But I'm never going to be happy with the black one, so let's just go with the white one. He said, no problem. Gets me a white one. Comes out. And he goes, oh, well, by the way, do you have your paperwork from when you got the, the original phone? The one that's scuffed up. I said, oh, sure, here it is. Then he looks at the paperwork and he's like, oh, we've got a problem. You bought this at an independent store. And I'm like, what, what does that mean? And I said, it was a Sprint store. It said Sprint out front, just like yours says Sprint out front. Look just inside, just like this one. He said, yeah, they don't look any different, but some are independent stores and some are corporate stores. He said, and since you bought it from an independent store, the corporate store can't do anything to you. And I thought that's the stupidest thing I ever heard, but that's, if that's what it is, that's what it is. 
So I'm like, great. So I know they don't have any more of the iPhones at the, store, at the, the independent store, the store that I went to. Uh, and I know I don't want Samsung now, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I thought, well, maybe I'll get the HTC, Evo, whatever. Uh, so I'm like, well, I'll think about what I'm going to do. I took my phone. I left. As I'm leaving, I'm walking back to the parking garage where I'm parked. And I'm parked, well, I parked past the mall. And I remembered, hey, there's an I Apple store in the mall here. So I'm like, you know, this is a quality control issue with the, the phone being buffed like this. So I get on my phone and I call Apple. And I tell them, like, what I bought and what's wrong with it. And they seem to be already aware of the problem. Of course they are. It's a pretty big problem. So they ask me, where is it damaged? And I tell them, they're like, yep, that's common. Take it back. We'll give you a brand new one. So I go back to the Apple store, uh, trade it in, and uh, in the end, I got the white Apple here. Let me show it to you. I ended up getting the white one here. Uh, it's not the, the little black brick that I liked. I liked What I liked about the other one is it was just a solid piece of black. You didn't see any screen. I mean, it was just black. Even the metal was all black. I really liked that. But the white one here is still nice, too. Uh, it still has the same really nice screen. Uh, just a really nice, you know, phone. I really like it. So, and it feels solid, it feels uh, comfortable to hold. The other ones are getting a little big for me. I don't have the biggest hands in the world. So, ended up with the iPhone in the end, but went through two black ones and I'm back to a white one now. So, in the, like I say, in the end, ended up with the iPhone. So that just kind of answers the question of what I ended up with. And I'm gonna leave out the part where Sprint screwed up my plan like two or three times, would cancel the wrong phone, put the new phone on the wrong line to where I tried to call and I got voicemail because I'm trying to call myself, even though I think I'm trying to call my son and it's just, uh, they just screwed up our whole system. So it took all day, spent three hours afterwards getting everything set up, you know, and then got caught in traffic on the way back and spent two hours in traffic. So, like I say, it was a little bit of an ordeal today to end up getting the right cell phone. But in the end, got a cell phone I'm happy with, going to keep it. And I just thought I would answer the questions that people were asking of which cell phone did I end up with.